All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Monday. We are playing the Gimmick Puppets. Uh, we're still playing our over 40 uh, Pot of Desires decks. I'm still not liking that card. You know, especially since it shot up to over like, you know, $100. Like, hell no, hell no. I'm not going to dish out that kind of money for a card that I'm not that interested in playing. Like, not even, not even. Uh, I could play the trade and do all that plays, but then that would reveal my deck. So I'm just going to hold off. We got our... Uh, Alright, don't get around. So we got we got the trade and play. That's pretty nice. Just really no gimmick puppet. It kind of looks like I'm just playing uh, kaiju's right now. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the, you have to. I feel like you definitely have to play over 40 cards. And maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. Maybe you could just play three of them in a 40 card deck. But that's a lot of milling. It really is. Or maybe just play two. But I don't know. I I, I feel like they got me pegged. I'm a TCG player. Uh, you know they what they say. TCG they play to not lose. OCG they play to win. You know, they'll play the pop design. They don't give a shit because they're getting that plus one. They're getting that pot of greed and they're going to go in and they don't care. They're going to win. Me, on the other hand, I'm always thinking, man, I'm going to bash my combo pieces and I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be able to do shit. So, uh, you know, that's a lot of things that process through my mind. You know, yeah, sure. Uh, I can, if I get in, I banish some cards. I mean, I'm running cards at th multiples at three. So, you know, the chances of me getting and banishing crap that I don't need multiple copies, that's fine. But in my mind, I'm always like, man, I'm going to I'm gonna end up fucking myself. I'm going to end up banishing everything that I want, that I love, that I need. And uh, and it's ended up it's gonna be GG. I'm going to get fucked up, maybe. His pendulum skills are not the greatest right now. So it really depends on what he goes off. Like, if he goes off and summons, like, everything in his fucking hand, then, you know, I'm fucking dead. But, uh, if not, if, just, if these two, I mean, I'm taking some damage, but I'll be okay. You know, and yeah, that's really what matters. Uh, I'm still not dead. Still not dead. This is a lot of damage. I mean, that's the pendulum mechanic for you. Uh, but, you know what? It's better than setting my Twin Twister, because I hate setting my Twin Twister. <laughs> I don't want my Twin Twister to get Twin Twister, so that's the reason why I never set my Twin Twister. Like, if I'm going first, I'll just hold on to it. I'll let you set, and I'd rather Twin Twister your Twin Twister than you Twin Twister my Twin Twister. Make sense? Because then, if I Twin Twister your Twin Twister, I'm going to Twin Twister your Twin Twister plus something else. While the other end, you Twin Twister my Twin Twister plus something else. Unless you straight up want to go nag and twist and hit my Twin Twister, but I'd still rather have my Twin Twister. So I'm going to take an ass ton of damage, but I mean, I guess it's okay because I have this to break these, and I have this to break that. So I'm still good. I'm still fine. It's just that was a lot of damage. <laughs> what, do you actually have some back row? If you actually have some back row, then that would be interesting. That'd be interesting indeed if you actually had some legitimate back row, then I'd probably pop your back row and pop this. Oh, you're just gonna go and flare. Okay, well, I can just summon a kaiju over that. If anything, like, just a lot of damage. Alright, so. Get rid of that. Like, you don't need that. Can I still play this? No, I can't, because there's a kaiju on the field, right? Yeah, because I'd have to special summon a kaiju to his side of the field, but then I can't summon a kaiju to the other side of the field because there's already a kaiju, so... Flare back at it again to burn me. Wow. And then I draw into a fucking absolute fucking lootly nothing. Like, alright. Alright, can I do it the same turn to send to graveyard? Nope, nope. Wow. Wow, alright. That See? See? Look at that. Look at that. I probably banished, like, a ton of my own kaijus and shit that I probably could've used. No, not really. Not really. If anything, I'd just like to draw another level 8 so I can actually use these trade ins well, it's an unturned plumber, but I couldn't, the slumber wouldn't have done anything to flare, so. Yeah, I got fucked because I just happened to be able to drop the dark conditions which are level 7 to go into the flare, so. And I drew into nothing, but I mean, what you gonna do? And of course, this card can't be bladed. It would have been better if I would have set this, you know? Live and learn, really. So, get another dual bear back. Ugh. So, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not liking Pot of Desires. Especially for $100. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna play it. It's not my cup of tea. No real reason. Ugh. It's really, an, it's really aggressive deck. I'm more of a, I mean, aggressive card, more of a control player. I'm just, I'm, I'm not into it. Nope, nope, I'm nope. Anyway, uh, here we can title more observation part one. Uh, so part one because uh, I'll be doing part two on Wednesday because I'm not done. I'm not done with my observation. Damn it. So in the education course I'm in now, I know another one, another one, another one, another one. Oh my god, again. is this the same guy? Like. Wow, and then fucking number generator. Like I was like, oh, fucking pendulum call. You know, he's, it's at three. He plays it. No, 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 no. That card's at one. Like fucking number generator, man. Fucking pendulum call is so good, so good. It definitely deserved to be limited. Like I was mad that it didn't get limited last list. So when I saw it this list, I think that's probably my favorite hit. 
You know, so if someone asks me and it's like, what's your favorite hit? Pendulum kind of call because I want that shit hit last time and it didn't get hit. So it's hit this time and I'm like, yay. <laughs> but wait, now it's number generator. So, <laughs> so I, now I can't even pop my, his scales even if I wanted to. Like, I definitely feel like my last hand is better than this one. I feel like I'm playing the same exact guy. The same exact guy. But there wasn't a lot of people on anyway. So, I mean... I don't have anything. Oh, so you didn't pitch anything to grab something back with. Oh, dragon. You got your pendulum scales, you got your monster. This hand's not the greatest. But, I mean, it's okay now. You can at least go into my spider. Like, going in back into my spider might not be terrible. I would love to crack your pendulum scales, so. Your opponent controls the monster and all monsters you control give up his expression on this card from your hand, and this card's the copy level. So, I got these two, so I can do until rank play, and then go into big spider. Mm -hmm. Big Spider is nothing to scoff at. <laughs> yeah. Especially since maybe, unless his set card something to handle me, he might not have anything to handle me. So, I got a normal summon you, special summon you. So, yeah, more observation. So, this course, I gotta do five hours of observation. And you know what? That's fine. I I'm glad. I'm glad that this that this course is done because school actually started. Like, I actually made it through the summer without running into the problem of, oh, you gotta do observations. Like, it's the summer, you know? Especially since I wanna be a secondary education teacher. Like, elementary school, sure. You know, they're, they're generally 12 months, but no, no, no. I'm a seven, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a secondary education teacher. And it's summer break, it's summer break. So I made it through the summer break. That's great. I'm um, thinking that this may possibly be some background. Yeah, I was thinking I was gonna be like a solemn strike or something, so. I probably should have assumed so. And I can only activate one per turn, right? Yeah, I can only activate one per turn. So this is gonna be real annoying because, you know, he gets the pendulum call to set up his pendulum scales and he gets the fucking strike. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, I'm tired of fucking dueling people where they get the tits. Like, uh. <laughs> Like, strike is at multiples, people. Strike is at multiples. And they get that reprint. Like, Konami, make your money and then hit this shit. Like, this card is so unhealthy for the game. It's not even funny. Like, oh, yeah, stop any inherent summon, stop any monster for, for 1500. Like, you don't crack? <laughs> like, shit. So, uh, I, w I went Friday. Wow, and then fucking, and then broke ass card of demise, too. So you do the damage to me, don't play shit, and then fucking card demise and get the hella plus, and you're probably drawn to an unstrike. Wow, wow. Wow, just straight up broken. Look at it. Look at this. His, his graveyard is filled with broken shit. The one uh, broken ass pendulum call, the fucking broken ass fucking solemn strike, and the broken ass card demise. Because Konami didn't hit these two cards. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, that's the reason why I'm going with the deck and going with the regionals. Like, just fuck me. Like, I was already in a hole. But at least I was like, oh, at least he's lower on resources. So I maybe might be able to come into this duel. And he's like, nah, I'm just gonna hit you with the fucking. Why didn't you set that? Like, well, why, why, why you no set that? Wow. And now I'm not drawing any shit. Like, wow. Just fuck me. Like, see, this deck doesn't want to work for me. Like, that's not what I needed. If anything, I would like to give me pups to send these two that have been pretty good. Like, it, where's my trade-ins? Like, last duel got the trade-ins. No eight level eight monsters. This duel gets the level eight monsters. No trade-ins. Like, I can play one of these. I can revive my gimmick pup. What the is that going to do? You know? Is it any gimmick puppet monster? Any gimmick puppet monster. But there's really no point in doing that because I can slap this spider on, but I don't think I, I can do this because I think I have to have uh, a level 10 or any monster with someone using a level 10 or 11 dark control. No, doesn't seem that way. What about you? Yeah, with two or more materials. I won't have any materials if I revive it from the graveyard. So I don't got shit. I guess I can summon it and be a beater. Oh, it was never summoned properly. Yep, it was never summoned properly. So never mind. Never mind. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. He he had the solemn strike and I'm fucked. Like, GG. God damn it. Wow, and I'm not drawing the shit. This man draws in the fucking strike, pot of desires, pendulum caught, and what am I drawing to? Nothing. <laughs> uh, fucking luck is for scrubs. <laughs> be right back. Ah. Uh, so I had to do five hours of field observation. Uh, I went Friday. I was thinking that you know I was possibly going to get it all done. I was going to do three classes. Which classes are generally an hour and thirty minutes, uh, so it'd be four hours and thirty minutes. And I, was, I could probably squeeze in like lunch and be like, hey, you know, I was there. I interviewed them during lunch. So it's not have to never get it done in one day. Just kill it, right? No, 
I didn't know. And, I mean, how the fuck would I know this? At high school, I haven't been to, you know, I wasn't in that high school for five years. Uh, that Friday was actually assembly day. I mean, maybe, I mean, it was the first Friday of the school year, so I'm, I should have assumed, I guess, but no. No, it was assembly day. So instead of classes being an hour and 30 minutes, they were only an hour and 10 minutes. So I stayed the, two, the three classes. It only came out to three hours and 30 minutes, right? So that means that I had to go back on Tuesday, because Monday is, of course, uh, Labor Day. Go back on Tuesday, get that last course done, and, um, okay, it looks like infinity not deck. Like, there's really nothing to say about that. Be great if I open if I got like a monster I could summon so I can go into rank eight play, that'd be pretty good. But I mean just getting rid of the sub dragon infinity with my kaijus is good enough. Like it's it I mean come on, it's just infinity dot deck. <laughs> infinity dot deck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Infinity dot deck. Dot deck. Wow. Wow. The, infinity dot deck's probably one of the most skillless fucking decks I've ever seen. You literally just make it by just throwing it in everything that can give you access to infinity, Cyber Dragon Infinity. Like, wow. Like, I played it for a little while and I got bored of that deck. That deck is just boring. That's all you do. There's no strategy. There's no skill involved. Just, hey, can you make in Cyber Dragon Infinity? Can you make Cyber Dragon Infinity? Can you make Cyber Dragon Infinity? Can you make Cyber Dragon Infinity? Like, that's all you do. That's all you can do. I can't even respect you for fucking Nova. Like, when the structure deck came out and, you know, you had Cyber Dragon Nova, I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. You know, that's respectable. Now it's like, oh, you go into Infinity. Like, Infinity is getting straight up cancer. They, like, the Queens with the fucking Metal Foes and fucking Blue Eyes throwing in the Galaxy Soldier and fucking, you know, uh, Cosmos with their Slip, right? Like, it's just everybody and their mother gets access to Cyber Dragon Infinity. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's it's literally getting bad. And of course, then we're gonna have Tree Toad coming out. So that means that, oh, Water Monsters get, it's just like, wow. It's like, really? So, this fucking sucks. It's one that's destroyed by card effect. This card in your possession is sent to Grave Guard Pwn's card effect, okay. You probably, you could, the only thing that's decent is that you could only go into one Cyber Dragon Infinity only once per turn. So, you can only slap one on top of another only once per turn, so I can just kaiju that, and then summon my kaiju, and then run over the other Nova before it turns into a, an affinity next turn. But wow, this, this deck, this deck, this, this deck is, this deck is absolutely skillless. Skillless. Absolutely skillless. Oh, wow, and then Pleiades too? Pleiades and the fucking, uh, infinity. Alright, alright. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, I, I know you probably, you won't bounce me. I know that. But I could just summon the fucking monster again, so. Absolutely skillless. Now I get the maxi? Alright, fuck me. Wow, alright. Now I get the maxi. So. Here it that. I said, I know you won't plead, he's that. I know you won't plead, he's that, fuck boy. If anything, you should probably wait until the battle phase. Then I'm gonna summon a kaiju. I'm gonna try to run over your pleadies. You could you know, do that during the battle phase, but if anything, I'd rather deal with Pleiades than deal with anything else that you got right now. I mean, it's better than dealing with fucking <coughs> Infinity. Like, like, don't fuck up. Wait until I go to battle phase, then bounce me. Because if you, if you bounce me now, you'll regret it. Just like, drawing this, two of these, this doesn't do shit. Like, ah, look, it's for scrubs in this game. Holy shit, Daniel. Daniel has terrible luck. It is definitely true. Daniel has terrible luck, so... What, you're gonna go Pleiades bounce? Or are you just gonna let your Pleiades die? Or maybe you have Honest. You might have Honest. Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. Of course you do. So you have the Galaxy Soldier, the Honest, to open up the Cyber Dragon Infinity. You're like, God damn! Like, alright, alright, God. Mm -hmm. Skillless! He's literally done nothing that involved any type of skill at all. Just go into Infinity, open up with Honest, like. Oh my god, just fucking kill me, like, oh wow, alright, alright. I open up like ass, this man opens perfectly, god damn, like I said, luck is for scrubs. Shit, I said I can't stand Yu-Gi-Oh, why? Why is it so luck-based? Why? Oh my god, just kill me. And he's just gonna go right into another fucking infinity, because he can. As long as you, if you got another light monster, because you can just pitch special summoning, grab that, pitch special summoning, go into Nova, go into Infinity, tap, 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 game. Like, wow. Skillless. There is no skill involved with this duel. At all. Like, oh my god, wow. Now they're just talking on fucking Discord, like, fucking. Wow. <sighs> That's, wow.
Of course he had the, of course he had the honest. Of course he did. Why not? Why not? He only had two cards in his hand. I knew the other one was Galaxy Soldier. Why not have the honest? Like, fuck me. Fuck me. Skillless trash Cyber Dragon Infinity Don deck. Like, come on. Come on. Wow. Wow. Like you're that thirsty to get your searches? What'd you even search for with your fucking Oh, you got another core. Okay. What the, what, what the fuck is he like really bouncing using your materials to bounce your fucking pleadies and shit like come on come on like just fuck me like of course you get the fucking pay. I should have maxied that you know I'm done I'm done I'm done anyway like I'm dead anyway ah uh, be right back ah uh, this is one of the reasons why I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh in real life and the reason why I'm not really looking forward to the fucking regionals it's because luck is for fucking scrubs my luck is ass ass dog ass and Yu-Gi-Oh is fifty percent luck. Do I have the skill? Yeah, I got the skill. I can play. Skills pay the bills. I can play fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Do I have the deck? Yeah, yeah. I think what I'll be taking will be a great deck. Uh, it can pretty much count on be a really strong deck. But, do I have the luck? Hell no. I have fucking terrible ass luck. And when luck is 50% of the formula, that means I don't have a 50-50 chance of actually topping a fucking regionals. Coin flip. No matter what I'm playing. I could be playing the fucking top tier shit. I could be fucking playing Dragon Rulers with full power and still not have the fucking highest chance of uh, of uh, pulling off a victory. I really want to make this hand is ass too. Like that that's the thing. This hand is ass too. Why do I keep drawing into the fucking gimmick puppet that I want to send to the graveyard instead of getting the monsters that I can actually summon to send them? Like constantly this fucking video, like I shouldn't let Yu-Gi-Oh bother me. I really shouldn't. Like, I should just accept that this game is just a fucking card game based on luck, and I don't have it, so just fuck me in the ass. Like, all right, at least I'm gonna get one draw. If you do anything else this turn, I'll get multiple draws. At least I open up the max E. Oh no, you can pendulum some too. Okay, okay. At least I got you. And it's like asking for you. You're a little late, but. Hey, you're a little, you're a, you're a little late. You're a lot of late. <laughs> Shit, you are a lot of late. The monsters are already summoned. If I would have went first, I could have set the strike, stricken him. He probably would have quit. Like, a little late. Yeah, you're a, you're a, you're a lot of late. <laughs> I'm just kind of wondering if he's actually gonna beat my ass down. Like that's that's the thing. He's got the metal foes placed too. Like, uh, it's not looking too great for me. You know, sir, George. Sure. Uh huh. That's fine. Like, if I could just get some gimmick puppet plays, I'd be happy. Like, it's just, that's that's literally all I need is actual, some actual gimmick puppet plays. I really haven't gone. I haven't gone to a gimmick puppet all fucking duel. Like, I tried to go in the like, XC Master all fucking duel. I tried to go in the strings and I got my shit pushed in because he had the set strike. Of course he did. But outside of that, you know, I haven't done shit. Just keep on opening it up with her and this card all the fucking time. I'm running them at multiple so I can, of course, get the desire plays on, but... Shit. <laughs> I'm not even open up with enough kaijus to actually like, give you a kaiju and summon me a kaiju. If anything, that would be a pretty decent play. At least I sent the one that can't be destroyed by battle, so... You attack me, I take the damage, pay 10,000 and summon him, and you can't be destroyed by battle, so at least that's nice. <sighs> but... Yeah, I gotta go back on Tuesday and get one more course class done. Um, observation was fine, you know, I said, it's been seven years since I've been in the class that I was learning, seven years, so, it's been a cool minute, I mean, I'm, I've always been pretty good at math, so, I mean, it, it all came back to me, right, so, you know, go ahead and hit me directly with that buster blader, that is fine, I might have to play this reckless, like, I might actually have to step on my foot and play this reckless if I don't open up with, any, drawn to anything decent, so I took a nice chunk of damage there, I just, at least got to keep enough life points to hit him with the song Strike. I'm just kind of wondering if they were going to play the Metal Foes place. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, this card would be great. This card would be fantastic. If I can fucking actually do the play. So, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Like, my luck is just bad. I'm just not drawing in anything. Yeah, you see? During the trade-in. During the fucking this. Like, this is exactly what I needed. Like, this is... Like, this is there we go. There we go. I actually have some fucking plays now. Shit. So... Yeah, I can fuck his shit up. I can fuck his shit up good. I can go into my string. I can rank up into the string and blow up all his monsters. He takes the damage. I have a nice beater. I have the twin twister for his pendulum skills. Crack that shit. But the strike, like, I think I might actually be able to win this shit. Because, like I said, that reckless drawing. Drawing is so good. But desires, like, I just don't know how I feel about it. Like, it's good, but I'm not sure if it's good for me. 
I'll play it. I'll play it. I mean, it's a plus fucking one. It's so good. And I can see more shit. I mean, an uninterrupted slumber. We got some plays now. We got some fucking plays. Uh, might even turn twister and put you back because you're probably going to get banished. So if I, when I do catch it, it's team material. So I'm going to go ahead and do doll. Banish you. I don't, he doesn't he doesn't have any back row or anything unless he you know has a card in his hand like a hand trap or something so we'll just go ahead and go into this rank up shit oh i actually went and fucking duel this video <laughs> detach you put some counters on you and you oh i was thinking yeah. and do that so i gotta make sure they go into the right one because they look familiar uh, it's you. See, those, those, these cards look like familiar, but no, it's you. The gimmick puppet, C. C1. So go into you, blow up all your shit. So good. And you have to draw a card, like, whew, whew, get your ass beat. And then if I wanted to, I could go into Spider. So I think, I, I think I, it's actually pretty good. Spider's stronger than her. Like, she's kind of served her purpose, if anything. Oh, true, true, true. I can grab this back, too. Grabbing mean, that back is pretty good. Like, I don't think I could game you this turn, but I could pretty much put you in a position where you're probably not going to be coming back. You know, especially since I got the Twin Twister. Like, if I didn't have the Twin Twister, maybe you could bounce back. You still got your pendulum mechanic, but nah, nah. I got the Twin Twister, so you're about to get fucked real good. Actually, you know what? Might as well do it now, because my hand's getting kind of full, so. Crack both of your skills. I don't care about the DNA surgery. <laughs> And the only care, way I would care about the DNA surgery is if you, like, contact with me. But I don't think you are. Maybe you have the infusion, but you have to have a blade too. Like, I think I might have this. So that. Two strikes. I have a full hand. Like, I'm not drawing, but, you know, at this point, I don't really need to draw. Because, I mean, you reckless and get that pot desire to trade in. Like I said, you gotta run that filler shit if you're gonna run pot desires, in my opinion. I think reckless is a totally fine card. It's like upstart. I mean, chicken game is banned and shit like that. That's fine. That's fine. I protect from destruction. Should not even detach you because you're just gonna get banished. No, I protect from destruction. So you, you rip that Regeki band on me, shit. Nope. That's not an inspire. Yep. GG. Woo! I actually won a duel. Yeah, we'll get one more duel. Right back. Alright, this will be the last duel. So, uh, what were they doing? They were doing like exponents and. Stuff like that. It's like, okay. Like, it, it, it all came back to me. Easy shit. <laughs> Nothing too difficult. Alright. Oh, you're going first. I would generally like to go second anyway. What the fuck are you playing? Like, you're playing Blue Eyes. Don't you like to go second? Not first? <laughs> Dragon Shrine. You get to send your... Yeah, it's Blue Eyes. Why the fuck would you go first in Blue Eyes? Didn't he win the Paper Accident? Or did I win? I don't remember. I don't remember. So, of course it's Blue Eyes. Of course, like... We couldn't go an episode of Daily Dose without playing Blue Eyes. Playing that top tier shit. Uh, I can't wait. I already know there's going to be a shit ton of Blue Eyes at that region. Especially with the reprint of that fucking uh, Spirit Dragon. That's it going back. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to fuck them up good. <laughs> I cannot wait. Uh, well, I mean, I do have plays. I do have plays. It's just, what should I do? Uh, I think for now, I'm just going to go ahead and send Jury uh, Doll. Unless this is like a solemn strike or something. If that's the case, then you can have that done when I'm at. Because I have a twin twisted a pitch for this if I wanted to, so. Obviously, something something trainable. Something that can respond to me right now. Unless he has a fact that way. He might have a fact that way. I mean, the deck should main deck it because they can search it with a uh, Sage, I think? Compulse. Alright, one. Who the fuck plays Compulse? And two, you know, I still resolve my sin, so. So really, all I have to do is just hope that I don't get fucked by. You know what? I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send uh, Feeler, because I might get killed. It's only a thousand ten events. You know, I think sending Feeler is safer. Because if you want to compulse my monster, that clearly means that he might try to kill me next turn. So if he tries to kill me next turn, I'm going to die. And I don't think he's gonna set anything for Twin Twisters either, like. Hey, come on, it's Blue Eyes. <laughs> wow, someone's still playing Compulse and Compulse the monster that I probably wouldn't even mind having back in my hand either, so. Good job, good job. Thank you for giving me my scissors, because next time I could just go summon scissors, send my doll, Twin Twister, Pitch, Pop, you know. Wow, 
More neg with dragon shrine. And you didn't even send your fucking ancient stone. Like, come on. Oh, and send another white spirit. An ancient stone? Okay, there you go. Come on. Come on. So that you'll summon a blue eyes during the end phase. Oh, of course, broken ass gospel of arrival. Yep, yep, yep. So, good thing I didn't set that twin twister in then, huh? Yep, ancient rolls. Go ahead and summon that blue eyes from your hand because, yep, it's totally cool. It's not even a good blue eyes player. <laughs> Not even a good one. Fuck it. I'm gonna be taking the damage anyway. I'm gonna be taking the exact same damage, so I might as well get a level 8 monster out of the play. But now I gotta deal with his shit, and he has the gospel. So, uh, that's a problem. Uh, that's a problem. Gospel's such a problem card. Like, it's a monster born and protection destruction. Like, come on, Konami. Come on. Come on. What's your problem? Why are you making cards like that? Because I don't give a fuck. And I gotta deal with the blue I summon during the end phase. Like, alright, alright, cool, cool. <sighs> I might just summon this. Then just go into a rank 8 play. But what rank 8 play can I go to? I have my rank up too. Like, oh, that's the thing. I'm going to like you. Then I can rank up into you. So I just, I guess you're just gonna go into full armor and pop me, I guess? No, you're just gonna go into fucking Tachyon. Okay. Oh my god, do I run fucking, uh, what's his name? No, I don't. So if I ran, if I ran fucking Cypher, man, I'd, I'd hit you up with the Cypher real good. Go into Cypher, take your shit, and slap on a fucking full armor and your shit. <laughs> like, this is a fucking, not, this is not even a good Blue Eyes player either. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll play this. No, wait, that's not good. He would just go back to the graveyard. I'm, just, I'm trying to think. Because I kind of would like to bait him, bait his uh, gospel. I know he's going to play it. I know there's no way in fuck he's going to allow to die. He's going he's gonna to block my under under slumber with his gospel. Go ahead. Block it. Block it. I know you are. You definitely are. And then, which that case, then I could fuck you up good. Because I could just summon this, go into my strings, put some, str some, str some strings on you, rank up, blow you up, draw a card. Spider tack, you know, so block it, damn it. Shit. You wanna block it. Like, shit. You're bad. You're bad. Yep. Oh, so it blocks, but I guess the summon still resolves? So I guess I still get the monster? Interesting. I th I thought it just wouldn't even resolve the summon. So it blocks from destruction, but I, the, the summon still resolves. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought it would just block and then not resolve. That's still fine. I'm still good. Still good. Still good. Yeah, because I can summon you. I can summon send doll. Doll can banish you, summon you. Then I can just go into a rank 8 play, rank up, and do all that play. So we're still good. I'm just kind of worried about my life points right now, but at least he'll be low on, res he'll be low on resources. So I'll so just send doll. Actually, if I don't exceed with uh, with uh, Kaiju and actually just summon... Oh, all my monsters are gimmick puppets. That is not true. I do not control one gimmick puppets. I'm going to strings. So, let's see. I'm not sure if we can end this, though. Like, so, we'll put some strings on you. You get a string. You get a string. You get a string. Oprah of strings. Oh, I get a string. Sure. And then we'll go ahead and rank up. Rank up into you. Then blow everything up. You take all that damage and I get to draw a card. Power. Yeah, and then I drew it to my rank up card again, so. And I'll just go into Spider because then he can't even alternative me. Sure, I'll go ahead and grab that back. Why not? Yay, Spider. So, it's nice that you can't even alternative me. You can just summon alternative and try to pop my ass. If I could have special summoned this, that would have been the game. But I, it has to be only game with puppet monster, so rip on that. Uh, I don't know, maybe he'll go into like. Like, Azure Eyes. Even if he goes into Azure Eyes, I could just summon the Dogaran on your side of the field and attack it for game, so. 
think I might have this, especially since you only have two cards. Oh shit. Did he just top deck Dragon's Mirror on my bitch ass? Oh shit. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Wow. <laughs> uh, even when I think of, I, I got this. No. All right. So what? Neo Blue as ultimate. Attack me three times and take a shit ton of him. How strong is Neo Blue as ultimate? I think he's forty-five. I wouldn't die from that. Just take a nice chunk of damage. <laughs> wow. Maybe even first the dragons. No, no, because I had the Dogon. Let's say first dragons can stall me out, but no, I got I got the Dogon, so. Just trying to wonder how you're gonna game at me, but uh, he just like draw Dragon's Mirror. Like, Alright, I'm actually wondering if he had No, if, if he had the Dragon's Mirror last turn, he would have played it and went for a game. He would have played it and went for a game. Well, he actually went into the first dragons. He actually went into the first dragons. Like, that's not gonna save you. You think that's gonna save you, it's not gonna save you. I'm just gonna summon Dogon to your side of the field and attack your ass. Mm-hmm. But he's like, yeah, I'm safe. Oh my god, that top deck dragon beer was so good, I actually fucking saved myself. Like no. There you go. GG. 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 I beat Blue Eyes with gimmick puppets. And it wasn't even a good Blue Eyes player either. <clears throat> <coughs> so anyway. Uh like I said, this is only part one. Uh the observation was fine. I went to the teacher's lounge. I got that I got to see my calculus teacher even though I wasn't um, I wasn't going to observe her this time. I'll probably end up doing a lot more observations, so I'll observe her last time. Because I observed her last time, and then now it's my other two teacher, and then they'll probably switch off. Uh, but like, I'll go back on Tuesday for one class. I'll go for one class, then it'll be lunchtime. I'll just hop in my car, go home, and then I'll be done. Uh, I got all my interview questions done, you know, so that's good. Uh, there's supposed to be eight interview questions, but one of the questions was, was the exact same as another question, so he just took one out, so it's only... Yeah, that two became one, so only seven questions. I got all those done. Uh, I got all my week one assignments done. Working on my week two, I got a lot of shit to do before Thursday night when I leave out to go to that regional. So I finished my discussion post, so he has to reply to me now. I probably have discussion done. I do my two assignments, and then I got to post on my journal my entry questions because that's already done. So it's not too much. Like it, it, it's stressful when if I don't procrastinate, it should be fun. And that's all I got to do is not procrastinate. But you know, we're getting the discussion on down on Sunday on Sunday, getting, you know, at least one of the two assignments done on Monday. You know, not procrastinating, I should have everything done. Anyway, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Like I said, luck is for scrubs. It's just as simple as that. Like this game's based on luck and that's why I have such a hard fucking time. You know, Daniel's luck is just ass. And it's not just Yu-Gi-Oh! Like it's the life in general. Like I don't know what I did in my previous life. I fucking I I went under all the ladders, broke all the mirrors, fucking all the black cats. I don't even fucking know, but goddamn. <laughs> but I'm just glad I beat Blue Eyes. He was a bad Blue Eyes player, but I beat him. I beat him. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tagging. Uh we are going to be playing uh Mechlord Despots. I know, straight up just ugh. Especially in tag. Or maybe in singles it might do something interesting with tag. Ugh. But hey, you guys voted on it. And yeah, we're trying a different version. It'll be less despotty, more mechlordy. So maybe maybe that'll be okay. I don't know. Alright people, thanks for watching.